Hello everyone. In today's video, I'll be addressing a question I received uh, from a customer a few weeks back. And they were asking, how can I take advantage of text? You can see I have some attribute data representing text in this drawing for these three control points. How can I take advantage and send that out into maybe a geospatial format and take advantage of maybe attribute and overlay downstream? So let's take a look at that. Typically, we want to send out to a geospatial format. The map export command is the first thing we think of. So let's go to that map export. I'm going to type in a name for my shapefile. That's the format we're going to use. And one difference than what we would normally do here is we're going to pick text. We're going to select everything because I just have nine pieces of M text. Go to data. This is the key. We've got to make sure we bring the attribute data that we need. So you can see all the properties and under object data, I want M text. And if I look under text, the actual contents is what I can use to visualize this text downstream, the contents field. So I want to make sure at least I have that. And you can see my output fields. You can uh, quickly see what I'm bringing over. There's my contents. So I'm going to hit OK to export, and I'm going to go into a new drawing. And in this case, uh, or in this particular video, we're going to look at uh, just referencing this annotation. And next week, we'll take a look at how I could bring that data over and just import it directly. So I'm in a new drawing. I'm going to go over to my Map Workspace panel, Map Task Pane, or I can type Map W Space. I'm going to select On. Now I'm going to connect to the data using the data connect here. There's text out three. Connect and add to map. So by default, what we're going to get is a node style, or just a node for a style representing the points, wherever the, the original point or the origin point of the text was. And then all that object data that I asked to come out it went as attribute data for these points. So I'm going to select a point, right click, and go to Show Data Table. And you can see as I scroll across under the Contents field, there is my attribute annotation. Yeah. You can also see it under Text String. It puts it in the Text String column as well. So we have it. We just need to change the style to see it. So I'm going to right click on the style and go to Edit Style. We're going to pick on the style. Hit the ellipsis. Now, if I want to keep the, the little point that it displays the map symbol, I just hit add symbol to pick a new one. I'm going to go to M text. I want to change the color. And I might change justification. You can see at the bottom of the preview, I'm going to go to left top justified. And then under advanced, I can offset that additionally if needed. So let's hit apply and take a look. So you can see uh, I've got the word text. So what did I do wrong? Well, I did not link that with the correct field. So if I go back and select text, you can see it's it's just using what I want to type in. So the key is to make sure that I pick contents or text string. I'll pick contents. Hit apply. And you can see that change dynamically on the screen. And also, if I don't want the point, let's say I've got uh, a symbol in the drawing I'm going to overlay this annotation on, I can just delete point, hit apply, and close. So that's one way to use your text downstream in a geospatial format. Next week, we'll take a look at a way to send it out and just uh, directly import it into another drawing. Hope this has been beneficial. Have a great day.